Ladies and gentlemen from the Mandalay Bay Resort and Casino of Las Vegas, 12 rounds of boxing for the WBC, WBA, Junior Middleweight Championship of the World. You've received your instruction in the dressing room. Again, I want to caution you. Any punches below this point are going to be called low. Any punches below this point are going to be called low. With that. Bell was set to go. Oscar's deck down in black with red. And in red with black is a Yuri Boy campus. Let's see how this one unfolds, Dave. Right away with the jab goes uh, Oscar hunting with that head shot with that left jab. And of course, we, we've talked about in so many of his fights how terrific his jab is when he doubles and triples. And then you always like to see that right hand come from behind. Yeah, I really do. And the good thing about watching Oscar right, that that up. Let's go. over the years of so many different fights is how his style adapts to what he's facing. Now today, he comes in here with a five-inch reach advantage, and right off the bat, we're seeing the jabs, and we're seeing the fact that you're probably going to see the left hooks to the body with him. I made with the, this type of a matchup. Right, Dave, I made the comment earlier that in spite of the fact that Yuri Boy is only a year older, his body and physically with all the fights he's had is really much older than what the Oscar is at 30 and Yuri Boy is only 31. Wow, with the right hand goes Oscar right back with a light jab in the face. But the difference is De La Hoya is landing his jab. Look at that three punch combination. Jab, jab, he catches it. Yuri Boy is just missing and Oscar loading up some nice combinations here in the first round. And we're seeing the effect of reach and quickness from De La Hoya. Oscar is really good in the early going in this fight. He's had some really, really tough opponents recently, and this style of Yuri Boy is, is better. He's not as quick as Fernando, although he's super tough like Fernando. Digging body shot. Exactly. says, watch it. Mouth hanging open already of the Yuri Boy campus now. Husky uses his elbow, slides around the right, stops. Yuri Boy can't catch up with him. Look at the difference in strength, Dave, the way he pushed him away. And that was an important thing for him to do in that instance because your boy was coming up. Scheduled for 12. World 154-pound championship at stake. Your boy finally got a uh, hook in there. As they decided to trade. And that's a, a good opportunity for your boy. It's his one chance for the fight. And for Oscar De La Hoya, he likes the idea of trading because he gets into his power mode here. And the uh, left touch to the body. Stop! Stop. He goes in and punching as he walks in. So it's not a reckless gamble, more of an educated gamble. Yeah, if, you, if you're not throwing as you enter the hit zone with Oscar, you're going to get down just like this. See, he's lingering, Dave, just what you were talking about. Yuri Boy lingers. He comes into the zone where he can be hit. The hit zone and Oscar's not going to wait. Good shots. This is a really good boxing by Oscar against a very, very tough fellow from south of the board. Look at the amount of combinations he's landing in the face of Yuri Boy. Yuri Boy finally pops one off the nose of uh, Oscar. It doesn't shake him at all. But see, when Oscar enters that zone, folks, uh, this is what Dave was talking about. When he comes into the, the hit zone, he's firing. Hey. That ends the second. Uh, Yuri Boy Campus. Luis Ramon Yuri Boy Campus. Well, let's see if Campus can uh, try to pick it up a little bit. I, I really don't know what he can do to stop Oscar from what he's doing right here. No, it's a tough guy against a tough and a slick guy. So he's got one way to win. Oscar De La Hoya has two ways to win. And that's the matchup disadvantage for him coming in. He has to keep doing what he's trying to do here. Get inside. He should get smaller. Bob and Weave, and he must be firing when he comes in, but here the hand speed gets him. Yeah, and certainly, right. Oscar right. hangs on for a bit, they get tied up, and now he's already, he's taking a lot of head blows. Some guys don't take as many head blows as in, in, in the seven or eight rounds, right? in the third round as many as he's taken. And these are flush, pretty well loaded right. up shots. Right. 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 Time is out again, that mouthpiece comes out. If he doesn't bite down on that, sooner or later, Vic will have to take They like to give him as much leeway as possible, but he just walked in a solid way. There were two of them there, Dave. And look at uh, Delahoy on the outside, the jab and the right hand, and surgical. And then almost in a follow-up situation, that nasty uppercut comes in. And the toughness is clear of Yuri Boy and the accuracy and the punching power of Oscar. Oscar, all business when he's in there. Very personal guy outside the ring, but this is all business for him. 
See, so Yorkie Boy is actually sticking that mouthpiece out. Usually they do that to try and get their breath. But you would think of fighting at this level in many four fights as he's had. He know better to keep it in there. But maybe the guy's gassed from the amount of shots he Offensive there will result in Well, it slows down the flow of the fight, and, uh, and that's why they have rules on it. That's really the referee's discretion as to whether the guy gets a hellacious hit in the that he, He's looking to grab some extra time dropping his mouth because I don't know what the case is here. But it's been out a couple of times. Oh, look at these shots, and I think he went flying again. What the weapon combinations, and Vic has to call a timeout again. I think he just told him, Dave, you time might be the hit point. It will be a point. He's taking Box. a point. No, I think he said time. next Stop. time, yeah. Get that back in. Get it back in. Let's go. Box. See, that's it. He's carrying it outside so he can breathe better. First off, he should be breathing through his nose. But the way he's got uh, his nose hammered, maybe he can't uh, breathe through his nose. The only boy is sticking that thing out, and every time Oscar whacks him, which is numerous times here, I mean, that's just with all the talk of the month, he's had a terrific championship distance of 12 rounds. But right now, uh, the big question to me would be how much more punishment can Yuri Boy Campus, because he, you know, he's coming right at Oscar. He sets up in front of him. He makes a lot of mistakes by entering that what I call the kill zone without throwing punches. When he does, Oscar countering him. Oscar is getting up more with the lead shots and he's hitting him. I mean, really hard, Dave, with the right hand. And that's what is one characteristic of an elite fighter, that when he makes you pay for the mistakes, he does it with finality. He makes you pay a lot. Every time Gilbert Compass comes in, he gets drilled hard with these body shots. Now, look at him here. He's too tall. He needs to be down and then trying to get into his head. Because he's too tall, Delahaye can just pick him off with his exquisite hands In this fight than he did his last time out with uh, Fernando Vargas. Vargas, uh, of course, I believe much stronger than what Yuri Boy is and, and much taller. Just a totally different fight. Knockouts in his career. Luis Ramon Yuri Boy Campus in the red trunks and the red uh, laces on his shoes. I'm the Colonel Bob Sheridan along with Dave Bontempo. Glad that you can be with us for this night of World Championship Boxing. Oscar De La Hoya's Digs downstairs. Doing exactly what Floyd May with a burden to do. Body and head. Missed the right hand that time. He gets Yuri Boy to stay off and again. Yuri Boy doesn't get the angle, Dave. He keeps excellent sense of anticipation and what to do against this style. And he's also setting up to let the right hand go. He uses the left jab, which is, you know, uh, just everything is the setup of Oscar with that left jab. And see the nice uh, warp and the voice shots of Yuri Boy. Yuri Boy, uh, he's the term of typical Mexican fighter in that he comes forward and he's aggressive. And, and Mexican fighters fight like that, even though Oscar's a, as a Mexican descent, he fights. There's a lot of that in him as well. And it'll be the difference in hand speed. Look at that. Right hand right over the top. Where's Roy coming in and he does him short and he's paying the price for it now. Look at this combination. Trying to catch him coming in. Slip move by Oscar. Uh, going. You just wonder how much more time Yuri Boy can take this many headshots because he's gobbled up a lot of punishment. There. These are hard punches, folks. You know, you're watching me at home, you see the head spin, but we're at, we're at ringside where we are, you can almost feel it. These are hard punches. And clean. Is there any strategy that Yuri Boy has about getting close to him?
just wonder how much more his corner will let him take. Because he's not going to quit. No, they have to be aware of that for him, and he'll keep coming forward and trying to do what looks more impossible by the round. And that's to get lucky here against Oscar. Now you have to worry about the eyes swelling up because of the shots he's taking. So they have to be on watch for that. Things that he does. Oscar take a little bit of a breather on the ropes. Now he slides down. He's right hand up there like you might have heard of him. Good shape a little bit. They're a little bit more tentative the way he threw it. Now he's throwing it, but it looks like he's not really calm down on like those last few Not enough guys pay attention to that, but Oscar De La Hoya really does. And that's one thing that makes him really Out again, and Vic Cracker tries to do his job. Start taking the, the points off again. He says, I don't want to Go. take another point Go. away. And it's not so Box. much what he wants to do to Yuri Boy Campus here, it's to, to maintain the standard for other fighters so that nobody gets the idea that they can come in here and try to buy time. It's very rare you saw a point take away from that. Big shot right on button again, right on the nose. Sloppy left hook. Got the step to the right and get that right hand in there again. again, again left again. hand on top of the eye. Left hand. Look at this combination. It's only anticipation before the punching. But that's it's impossible for Oscar. And now it's over. Well, the corner did come up on the apron in the uh, judge. Uh, uh, De La Hoya working it. Dracovic looking over at the corner. They've made a, a notion to him. And he follows suit about stopping the fight. You know, we had said in the last round that, you know, his like five unanswered punches, the head getting pounded back and forth with the brain starts to go one way, he nails him with another shot, it cascades up against the side of the skull. And in a lot of cases, if it's really quick, that explodes. The winner and still the unified WBA, WBC junior middleweight champion of the world, El Nino de Oro. The Golden Boy, Oscar de la...